Hey there, Rob Bruss here. Welcome to Nuclear War Survival. None of us have ever experienced a nuclear war, but it seems for some strange reason, some nut job somewhere in the world has got his finger on the button, is threatening us every other day of the week. And it seems to have become the norm and the mainstream. And I don't want you to fall prey to the worst possible case scenario in humanity. And that's why I created this channel and these videos to help you. Your ancestors survived some really hard times in the past, and it's your job, it's your job to survive this apocalyptic event. You need to prepare and you need to get ready for this, and the only way to do that is to actually take your mind to a place where you otherwise wouldn't go. And the whole point of these videos is to challenge your thinking and to get you thinking, what if? There's a whole bunch of things that we're gonna play with here. There's a little bit of fun stuff in here, but it really has a serious overtone. And I think if you're serious about preparing for your family's survival in the event of the worst possible case scenario, you really take, need to take heed of these messages and watch these videos carefully. I personally have a background in the military. I was in the Navy for five years as a combat systems operator, operating radar, sonar, electronic warfare, understanding how warships fight, and being part of large surface action groups and task force that are out there. I was also in the Australian Army as a paratrooper, and I spent some time on the front line in a couple of operations overseas as well. I don't really have any cool war stories to tell. I was more of a peacetime operator, but I do have a lot of experience in the military, nearly 10 years. I'm also a qualified pilot, and I have a great knack of being able to take really complicated military topics and breaking them down and picking out the parts that are really relevant to people that care about these things. So you might hear some reporting in the media, you might see a report about the military or something like that, and you're a little bit overwhelmed with all the terminology or what any of that means. And in some of the videos here on the channel, I'll be breaking that down for you, helping you to understand what it means and giving you the key takeaways as well. Because for some reason, military experts that are out there all talk in military jargon, and they never dumb it down for normal people to make sure it's easy to understand. And I'm gonna do that for you right here on this channel. And from that information, you're gonna be able to make some decisions because information that you get from watching YouTube videos like this from people like me is great, but without applying that and using that in your everyday life and actioning those things, it's really worthless. So I'm gonna make sure that every video that I create for you here on this channel has some element of action to it. So you can take away some action points and you can do something with these videos. And for me personally, I don't wanna make videos just for the sake of making videos because it's a lot of effort to set the camera up, to record everything, to edit everything and put it out there and do all that sort of stuff that's involved with it. What I wanna do is I wanna make videos that give you actionable things to do that are actually gonna help you to move forward and most importantly, survive this impending nuclear conflict. Now, like you folks, I'm also a student of history, particularly military history. I love that stuff. That's just because of my background and the things that I resonate towards. And from that, it's given me a really unique perspective and it's given me a way of thinking about how to be a prepper and when you're prepping for a particular thing. So you might be pre prepping for uh, a hurricane that's inbound or a cyclone that's inbound and you're boarding up your windows and you're getting your, your food, your fuel, your water and all those sorts of things ready to go and you might have to bug out when the media tell you to bug out and when the authorities tell you to bug out because it's just not safe to be there anymore. And when I look at military history and I look at everything that's going on, I think the worst possible thing that anybody could prep for would be a nuclear war, right? Because that's the most extreme thing that's out there. And if you're prepping at that level, I really believe that you're going to catch everything else below it. So nothing is more severe or more drastic than a nuclear war, of course. So if you're preparing for that, then anything else that happens in your society or in your community, you'll be ready for. There's a whole bunch of really amazing preppers out there on YouTube, and I'm not gonna cross into their lane because they're really good at what it is that they do, and I'm gonna be making lots of recommendations to those channels that I follow and that I watch, and I really encourage you to find some preppers on YouTube that resonate with you. Some people are really super extreme, uh, and they're way off the charts, uh, and other people are more middle of the road. So you're really gonna have to kind of navigate through those ones to find what works for you and the types of people that resonate with you as well. But rest assured, throughout the videos that I create here, 
I'm gonna be talking a little bit about prepping and what you can do, but I'm also gonna to refer to the experts on those subjects, because I'm not an expert on prepping, but what I do know is what the best uh, ideas are for trigger points, when you should bug out, when you should bug in, and what you should do about it. But what you should do in relation to prepping, that's where those other channels are gonna come in, and that's really gonna help you. So I encourage you, if I'm recommending other channels to you and other links, that you should pop on over and check them out as well. I really believe that war is the total failure of humanity. I'm never here glorifying war or encouraging it or anything like that, but there's nothing that regular normal people that live in a normal society can do to prevent it. But what you can do is take yourself there mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally and be ready for the worst possible case scenarios. Because a nuclear war is not like some Terminator movie where there's a ground burst and everybody's gonna be vaporized in the first two seconds of that bomb going off. Nuclear war is not what you think it is. And I'm gonna dispel a lot of myths here on this channel about that. And I'm gonna show you what's to be expected from these things because you can look back through the documents and the videos of the historical nuclear tests that have happened over the last century, and you can see exactly what would happen in a real-time nuclear war. And when you look closely at the doctrine that is out there from Iran, from North Korea, from Russia, from Pakistan, from India, when you look at the countries that have nuclear weapons and you, you see what they do, you see what their doctrine is, you can anticipate what to expect. And that shows us that nuclear war is not like some sort of Terminator movie, and it's not what you think. I need you guys and, and girls to be prepared for this because your job is to survive it. None of us have ever experienced a nuclear war, but what we can do is take ourselves there mentally and spiritually before this happens. I believe that you're not gonna rise to the occasion when you're faced with massive adversary in your life. That just doesn't happen. It's proven time and again that you don't rise to the occasion and become some sort of superhero. What happens is you sink to your level of preparedness and you fall to the level of your training. And the idea of this channel and these videos is to help you to elevate your level of training and to elevate your level of preparedness way further than everybody else that's there in society. So you're gonna give yourself the best possible chance of surviving the worst case scenario. Remember folks, if you're preparing for a nuclear war in your mind, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, and intellectually, with the people that matter to you, your closest family, and your friends, and your relatives, if you're preparing for that, then you're gonna be prepared for everything that's out there. So let's get this show on the road, and there's a couple of videos coming up right now for you.